And she looked at me and she said, the time is I said, I wish you would so I can stop <laughs> Okay, this is, <laughs> here we go. Uh, RuPaul, you can't use any of this, can you? Oh, She would love it though. Hi everyone, it's Bianca Del Rio and welcome back to The Pit Stop, the official recap of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. And today I am joined by a lady making her Pit Stop debut. And I must confess, she is the drama. The fabulous Miss Scarlet Envy. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Scarlett. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I am doing lovely, considering it's early in the day. I'm doing the best that I can. Yeah. And this is your debut here. This is my debut. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning, Pit Stop. Do you look like this every morning? Yes. <laughs> I always say I'm kind of like Beyonce. I woke up like this because <laughs> I passed out like this from the night before. Yeah, pom-poms and all. Now, you just recently moved to LA. I did. And how is that transition for you? Well, it's a lot more sunshine. Uh huh, we like that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we were both in New York for a long time. We were. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. The, the snow and the nasty people there really kind of changed the fate for me. So then I decided to come to Los Angeles, and now I'm in Palm Springs because it's cheaper than getting surgery because everybody there is old, so I appear young. Well, when you left New York, you know, the people became much nicer, actually. I don't know what, I don't know. Is there a correlation? Yeah, she's not coming back. <laughs> She's not coming back. This is it. I'm glad that you're here with us. Thank you. I'm glad I'm here too. Honestly, you know, I went to FIT in mm. New York. And yes. as a college student, I'd heard rumors of a monster running around the city called Bianca Del Rio. Really? And I never worked up the courage to go to one of your shows. Oh. Um, but I think I heard you from a few blocks away. Hi, it's me, Bianca Del Rio. Hi! Uh, on the weeknights with you and Logan Hardcore. Oh, God! That, well, yeah. I must say it's all lies because <laughs> I am a kind, gentle soul, and this is who <laughs> I'm presenting now. No, it's crazy to think about, but how many years ago was that? Well, that would have been probably between 2010, 2014. Wow, that's insane to think. Yeah. I, I'm just, this, this story is like so surprising. It really is to yeah. think that you went to college. <laughs> yeah, I graduated too. Yeah, look where I got you on the pit stop. All right, well. <laughs> I got a degree in advertising. I just never thought I was gonna be advertising this. Uh, hey, that explains the smell. We need somebody to wipe that seat. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> well, Scarlett, I like what you're advertising and you look amazing. Thank you, and so do you. I especially like, are you sponsored by Payless now? Okay, li listen, I'm putting it out there. So in the comments, people, I just had foot surgery, okay? For those of you who didn't see the first episode, I'm explaining it now. I had foot surgery, but I still came to work. I had a mild reaction to getting my toes pumped in Peru, and now they're healing, okay? I thought the girls went to Turkey for that. Yeah, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. A little ham. Mm -hmm. Ham and Swiss? <laughs> Rye bread, anyone? I did not think I'd be talking about toe cheese with Scarlet Envy. And but... lucky you. And <laughs> lucky me! <laughs> Scarlett, are you ready to get into this? Yes, ma'am. Let's dive in. Let's do it. All right. So, okay. now in last week's double episode, Anitra won the first challenge, and Irene Dubois was the first to sashay away. So, how do you feel winning the first challenge is making Anitra feel right now? Because she was the one that did chop, chop, chop. I'm gonna Anitra to you to repeat the question. Okay. How do you think? Uh huh. Winning the first challenge. Really good. Is I'm sorry. I think she probably feels really good about it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but here it was, everybody had different talents and she came in and knocked it out the park. Well, she definitely did, and she did something unique, which I think yes. is cool, right? Yeah. It's like, you know, I did the bubbles on All Stars, right? Yes. It's like, oh yeah, what's your talent? I'm blowing. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I usually blow, but it's not with a stage and spectators. <laughs> but not on TV. Well, it happened. But I'd be willing to. <laughs> Bianca Del Rio. Only, Only fans. fans. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you think that the other girls who weren't eliminated the first episode, do you think that they're all kind of relieved right now? Well, I think it's an important challenge to win because it's like, what do you do? What yeah. do you bring to the table, right? I mean, you, what, what are you gonna tour the world with after, after this? Well, yeah, you gotta have some substance. Yeah, so you don't wanna be even safe, really. I think you, this is something you wanna win. Agreed. And she did a great job. So, Scarlett, we found out during Untucked mm -hmm. that Amethyst and Robin dated back in Connecticut. But before we even touch on that, did you see how many queens are from Connecticut? So Can many. you believe there are four queens from Connecticut that are there? I didn't know Connecticut had that many drag queens at all. Uh, yeah, or people. Yeah, so Robin know. and Amethyst apparently dated. By watching them, are you sensing that there's a little tension between them? <laughs> 
You know what? I think there's tension between your ex, period, right? Hello? And then we're here, we are in the pressure cooker of Drag Race. Yeah. It's gonna make it even more intense. Yeah. So yes, of course, I think they're either gonna help each other off, Mm. Or they're gonna be more competitive with each other. They're gonna knock each other out faster. Yeah, I don't know if right? I could handle it. I mean, first of all, you know, sharing your clothes with another drag queen or having that thing of knowing that they know you, you know them. Like to me, that's a little too personal. That Do I don't you think. Kai I can Kai? It. No, I don't you like. Never it. in your life, not in one time. Okay, since we're here, mm -hmm. a pit stop exclusive. The one person I slept with, Latrice. Oh, lucky you. And she married somebody else. I know. Does your husband know about this? Rude. He held the camera. Anyway, <laughs> I, uh... Hi, Latrice. Uh, <laughs> okay, since I spilled the truth, have you ever dated a drag queen? I have. Who? I have. A few of them. Ooh. Back in the... Back there's a in, list? Back in New York. I mean, there's a small list. We've got time. No, we don't. Yes, we, we do. We 16 queens to get... 15 queens. Sorry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of Connecticut, Lucy mm -hmm. is the gal who sang last week and did not sing well. And she's now saying that she's fueled by all of this and she's saying she's gonna do better because now she's upset and she's fiery. Do you think that that's the right motivation to handle this right now? Well, I wanna start with her name. Yeah. Because I think it's so funny. Lucy spelled like she's not tight. Like <laughs> L-O-O-S-E-Y well, is how she spells it. Yeah, and it's Lucy That's Laduka. funny. That's funny. It is, yeah, it is. But I always find that queens that have funny names aren't funny. Oh, Should I go? <laughs> it's a challenging thing. But I'm curious though, is that do you <laughs> think do you think getting pissed off is the right motivation? Because it's not the other queen's fault that you f***ed up. And we all have bad days. I yeah. don't. But sure. we all, you people, have yeah. bad days right. to be mad and go, mm, now, now get ready for me. Come on, bitch. I think I disagree. I think that any motivation is good. You know what I mean? If it's gonna get a fire under you when that camera's turned on, yeah. find what you need to find to, mm. to, to, to move forward in the competition. Girl, I mean, this is off topic. Mm -hmm. The tape on everyone's head. No, these queens will have no hair. Everybody's gonna look like Queen Elizabeth, the first one, with their hairline starting in the middle of the, all that Tape? Did you see all of that going on under the heads? I did, and you know what? I think I've seen girls do the whole thing, right? With yeah. The tape. Yeah. You know, around, around. Yeah. But they normally put like a wig cap on. Something, so, something to, to protect, protect your, your head. Hair. Yes. Yeah. That's How's your head? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> so RuPaul enters with the maxi challenge, which is afterlife experiences filmed on green screen. So you have to do a, a, an infomercial to sell the afterlife. Now, do you think that this challenge is gonna be fun or do you think this challenge is gonna actually weed out the good and the bad? I really like improv. That's yeah. It's really fun. Except for like when my friends say like, hey, I have this improv show, will you come? Yeah. Then maybe I don't like improv as much. Yeah, but how would you approach this? Here we are talking about, you know, specifically of them saying they have to sell the afterlife. How would you approach it? Do, are you a person who sits down and writes lines or do you just sit back and feel the moment? Like, would you like to know the topic and then you banter back I like to feel the moment. Feel the moment, I yeah, agree. Yeah, I'm not really a big planner. Agree, yeah. agree. I have an alarm for my prep every day, but that's like the only real planning I do. <laughs> Wait, you have an alarm for prep? Yeah, like take your prep. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, to make things worse, it's also a group challenge, which is a tricky situation. Now, did you enjoy doing group challenges on any of your seasons? I did. Yeah, I did. I mean, it depends on who you're with, right? Agreed. But um, I think if you have good chemistry with your castmates, uh -huh. um, then there's an opportunity to really shine. So there is team one, mm -hmm. team two that were chosen from the group, and yeah. then there is the third group called the leftovers. Not the leftovers. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Ah! <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Leftovers. You would love that. You would love that. God, just get them out of the microwave, honey. You no, know, sometimes leftovers are better, by the way. That's true. The flavor is a little better. So this could be good. Three separate groups. But I must say, looking at what's going on, the dynamic, okay, they've chosen. Great, great, great. What's scaring me right now is sugar is in the leftover group and spice is in the other group and they are separated. <gasps> exactly. I think this is gonna be a problem because sugar without spice. What the fuck? What the fuck? How do you think it's gonna turn out for them? I think it's good for them. Mm. Try something new. Growth. Maybe some growth. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. But we'll see. I don't know. This is early in the season. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's a stronger competitor here? Do you think that it's sugar or do you think that it's spice? I think that I like spice more, mm. like in terms of cooking. 
Okay. Like in my own kitchen. Got it. I don't yeah. really have a big sweet tooth. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going off my gut here. Yeah. Saying I'm gonna go with the savory option. Got it. Interesting. Interesting. Can you tell I'm not on TikTok much? Can you tell I don't give a <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had a hard time figuring out which one is which. And that's not a bad- so Sugar's always really pink and feminine. And Did you curry. get that? And then spice is kind of like rock and roll, right? And I don't know. Sugar isn't all pink? Yeah. 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 So sugar's like exactly how it would be like, right? Spice is a little spicier. Uh huh. A little rough around the edges. And then sugar is like, um, you know, like uh, Legally it, Blonde. You it's know? very tricky for me because all white people look alike. Well, I do think they're both very gorgeous. Well, of course, that they're young. I mean, you're gonna be shocked by this, Scarlett, but there was one time in my life when I was attractive. <gasps> no way. No effing way. Never was. So here is Sugar giving all the ideas and putting in the work, which I'm liking at this yeah. moment, and everybody's shutting her down. Do you think that she should stand up for herself? No. No. I don't think so. Really? I think that if she has a good idea in her head, yeah. they're not gonna listen to it. It's so early in the season, I don't think anyone should be really like, clawing, say like, everyone listen to me, sit down and listen to but me. But it's a group challenge, Yeah, you know? but let, let them go and mm. mess it up on themselves, and then in that case, I think. I mean, if they're not gonna listen to you, they're not gonna listen to you. True. Meanwhile, the queens are working together, mm -hmm. and a group of them decide that Sasha Colby, because you're Sasha Colby, you're gonna be God. What do you think those queens are thinking by saying this? I think that they think she's untouchable and they're happy to have her on the team. Mm. I really think that they see her as a drag god. That's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure, and they could be setting her up, mm. Um, mm. but I don't think so. I mean, that's how I won the acting challenge on my season, is that they said, oh, here, give her all the lines, give her all the stuff to memorize, make her the lead role. That's a lot to handle. It is. But then when you do well in the lead role, then you win the challenge. So I think it's a good thing for her. I never thought I'd say this. I like your opinion, Scarlett. Oh my god, thanks, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is Sasha, mm -hmm. on set, in the room, the cold air, green screen, she gets nervous and she's f***ing up her lines. Which is like disastrous. Right? I know! Because when it goes off, it just goes off. It's yeah. so hard to get it back on track. It is, and then you've got Michelle staring at you judgmentally with her new face. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, you know better than anyone. Once you fall off the wagon, it's so hard to get back on. Tell me about it. That's why my feet hurt. Yeah, it's embarrassing because you're kind of in front of your peers at that time, right? Where like yeah. everyone's watching you. Not only the, the Michelle, but your whole team is off to the side saying like, oh, we talked about this, Sasha. We, you know, they're all like lip syncing your own lines to you. Like, yes! I can't help you. And you're just like, just off. Like, I don't. <laughs> get, let me get like, in my head. Let me get a moment. Let me control what's happening. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a lot of pressure. So now we're back in the workroom, mm -hmm. and as they're getting ready for the runway, Malaysia and Mistress have this moment where they're discussing their lives. And now I must confess, I'm not a fan of sob stories, mm -hmm. usually. But here was something I thought was pretty touching. Now on your season, or All Stars, who were the queens that you actually found a connection with? Well, I love Kylie. Ah, oh, brilliant. Monique, of course, right? Mm -hmm. Even for the reading challenge, you know, we, I, I was like, oh God, like, well, how do I read Kylie's Any Club? I can't. And instead of reading, I just said, you know what? I want to tell a funny story that after one of my first gigs in LA as a real girl, Kylie said, you know, what are you doing? I said, I, I want some dinner. And she said, let me give you the best chicken place. I lost my wig at the gig and in the drive through she knocked on the door of the, the window of the car and brought me my wig back. So not oh. only did she give me my chicken, but she gave me my wig back too. Oh, you know? that's so sweet. Like truly sweet. I thought she was gonna invite you to the restaurant to eat the chicken. Well, she doesn't even eat chicken anymore. She gave, so wait. So she she's gave a me vegan and gave you the chicken address mm -hmm. and returned with your wig in a drive-thru. In the drive-thru window. Look at that. Look at that. Roll the window down. What a beautiful story. Yes. All right, now we have to talk about these three groups. We have group one, okay. group two, and the leftovers. This is team one, team Anitra, mm -hmm. and they have Sasha as God, and they end up at Palm Springs. What did you think about that whole moment? I think that it came together really well. It was a little bit confusing in terms of, we didn't really know what they were filming or what was going on in yeah. any of the green screen rooms. But I think they did a great job. I thought it was really funny. Her head that back, head her thing. neck back. Yeah. That was fierce. I have to say, that continuous running joke was pretty good. And I thought all the girls lived up to Sasha's level. I thought everybody worked well together. It seemed like there was a complete thought. Now, Bianca, I know that you are a resident occasionally of uh, Palm yeah. Springs. Uh, is it true that that's where queens go to die? Smell me. I'm dead. <laughs>
on the inside or the outside? Look at me. I'm dead! Dead! I need your mortician's number. <laughs> So now, group two is Team Amethyst, okay? okay? And this is where they have your favorite Lucy as Dolly Parton. What'd yeah. you think of it? Well, I love Dolly. I did too. I think she did a great job. I thought she was fine. Didn't like the wig. That wasn't a good Dolly wig. Okay. Thought the impersonation was good, and let's we all know that Dolly is God in real life. So that was a good button mm -hmm. to it all. I thought it was a little disjointed in the whole Thing. I thought the finished product was not as cohesive as it should have been. Yeah, I was a little bit like shocked to see Dolly Parton. Like I was like yeah. out of nowhere. Like what, what? Why is Dolly here? And it, it took me a minute to realize, oh, she's God, right? I thought it was a good button, but I didn't think it was well thought out the whole episode. Like the whole <laughs> sucking banana moment kind of thing. Well, anytime Bruno's ass is on camera, yeah. you're gonna be upstaged. Ain't that the truth? So Amethyst is the group leader, and here she was being critiqued because the blue humor didn't seem to land. It wasn't as funny as it should be. Do you agree? I I totally agree. Yeah. I, I wasn't really sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're gonna get a kitty pull out, I'm generally intrigued. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do with that? Yeah. Um, I think they could have cut the joke like in half. Agreed. You know, I think it would have been funnier if it was just like a quick cut to her being what was she being on? Like, what was that? Yeah, she's being on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Finally, the leftover group, your favorite. Mm -hmm. They're impersonating previous contestants on Drag Race. What were your thoughts on that particular infomercial? I think it's so funny that they were impersonating queens that I know and I've yeah. been on Drag Race like in that room with. Yeah. Um, and uh, knowing them personally, loving them. Yeah. Uh, not who I want to see when I get to heaven, let's be honest. <laughs> love you, Rika, I love all of them. I uh, agree. Now, what did you think about Sugar in this situation? I thought for sure that she seemed the most prepared. Mm -hmm. I thought she was the funniest. I thought she was the most contributing to the scene. And this is the same group that was like But she was turning it out. She was consistent with the character. She was that annoying white straight girl that we all have met in our lives. She was delivering it on a level that I thought, hey, she's got the chops to do this. I thought, wow, the person who was being shunned is the one who's delivering most. I didn't even notice that until you said it, but it's true. Yeah! It's absolutely true. Now, out of the three groups, group one, group two, mm -hmm. leftovers, who was your favorite? <laughs> group one, of group course. One. Yeah, Sasha as God. It also seemed like the only group that really worked together. Mm -hmm. I agree, I agree. Now, which one out of the groups needed the most work? Would it be two? Yeah, I think it was two. Yeah, 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 I'm all about blue humor, but it didn't land, and I gotta say, when they were inside a mimosa, what kind of is that? I mean, I love a mimosa. I do too, but I don't want to be in a mimosa. I kind of do. You want to be in one? Yeah, why not? What, are you going to drink your way out? Yeah, vitamin C, bitch. When you die? Well, we're going to go one way or another. All right, next up is the runway, and the theme is Metallica. Now, hmm. what would you have done for this runway? I would have gone like rock and roll Metallica. Yeah. Right? Like some electric guitar, some wild, like, I don't even know. Rock and roll, literal yeah. Metallica Metallica, thing. like the band. And do you like this category? I do. Yeah. It's very shiny. It is. So which metal colors would you wear? Are you a silver girl or you're a gold girl? I'm a silver girl. Silver girl. Now, you recently just moved to LA, right? How's that going? It, it's going it's going well. I think we talked about that already. Did we? Yeah. 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 These cards are out of order. <gasps> <laughs> So here we go. We're gonna dive into the Metallica look. First up, Miss Anitra. Very Lady Gaga. I love a high cut. I think it's really nice how high her leotard was cut. Correct. You know, it's kind of like an 80s above the hip cut. I think it's very feminizing. Yeah, I, mean, I love a structured shoulder. I think that's nice. I like the whole look. I'm not crazy about the hair. Next up, Miss Sasha Colby. Now this, this she is a looks look. stunning. The back piece is amazing. Uh -huh. The head piece I love. It's, it's kind of like a metallic version of something from Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. She went in like this feathery direction. Which is crazy, metallic so, feathers. Yeah. Metallic Who would have thought? Yeah, she looks gorgeous. I love the whole look. I thought the makeup was great because it was exaggerated along with the outfit. The proportions looked fabulous. Next up, Selena Estides. Well, uh, she uh, is obviously representing for LA. At first glance, I did not know this was a street lamp. I mean, she could be I lit. still don't know that that's a street lamp, honestly. But that was the description she gave. I would have liked a clear glass on her head. I don't get it. 
Even one street lamp doesn't have this many signs on it. It's just so much going on. I would say scratch the outfit and just open your mouth and show us your cavity feelings. I mean, that's all Actually, that's f***ing brilliant. Hello, just go, ah! That's so great. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> At least all of the signs were spelled correctly. Next up is Lux Noir London. Ooh, okay. Now, see, I know Lux. I love this. I think the gold was the right choice. Great color choices. She's got an eye for color. I'm enjoying it as well. I love the fluidity of it, even though it's metal. I love the hair. I thought the hair looks amazing. Beautiful fabric. Next up is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Okay. So here it is, this Tin Man look. I'm finding it's, it's, all right. But it's not tin, it's like brass, right? It is. It's a tin man that has been out in the rain. So it's a little rusted. Was it tin roof, rusted? B-52s. Now, now this is not my favorite look and I don't want to beat it to death. I mean, you know, I'll just say it's ugly, it's ugly, it's ugly. I said it three times like her name. Next, we have, <laughs> but looking at her. Hey, I'm going to ask you though, because yeah. you would be the right person to ask. Okay. Do you think mm -hmm. she's wearing enough makeup? I don't know why you'd ask me that. I don't know either. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Makeup, makeup, makeup. Oh! I, I've learned the lesson. I, I yeah. you know, it doesn't make you any less of a queen. It's no. just a lesson that you happen to be learning on, uh, I would say national television, but international television. International right? television, when they tell you more makeup. I do have some people who yeah. have followed my career. They say, I wish you would go back yeah. to like, you know, kind of like a softer, uh, less, less makeup look. To be fair though, as I'm talking to you right now, you know, as a gay man, I must say, I like it best when you're hard. <laughs> <laughs> and next up is Miss Amethyst. Now, Ooh. I love the gold, I love the cape, and, and the cape, spoiler alert, will come in handy later. But I, I like the look. Um, the wig is not my favorite. I think the boots are great. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's a good look. I would just have changed the hair. It, it's a girth that you have a problem with. Completely. The girth not of the, the wig. Yeah, the girth of the wig. Is but let's you. be real, you and I both know you're not gonna see that much girth on anything that blonde. Next up is Princess Poppy. I don't like stuff, but it needs a, a sleeve, a glove, a bracelet, a... Uh, it like just, a thigh-high garter would have been nice, or like... It seems like she was getting ready and someone yelled, FIRE! And then she just ran on stage. It's almost like this would have been a better lip sync look or something, you know, lip sync for your life, or go, can they go change for the lip sync? Well, this would be like right before the end of the lip sync. This is what she strips down to. Yeah. But the big issue for me was the turnaround and the lacing was big white strings. Mm. Mm. Next up is Spice, not to be confused for sugar, which is what I do. Stunning. Stunning. I, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Yeah, I f love it. I thought it was a complete look head to toe. Thought it was flattering. Um, I thought it was top tier to what everybody else is trying to do. This, I think is, look, I mean, it's a professionally done look. That's beautiful. I enjoy it. Next up is Aura Mayari. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks it's, it's nice. It's it's fine. It's detailed, yeah, it's nice. It's fine. It's got some oomph. Uh, not my favorite. I mean, it looks like she put some thought into it. Sure. It's just not my favorite look. Next up is your favorite, Lucy LaDuca. Okay, she's not my favorite. Okay, but you like her name. I love her name. You like her name. I think it's great. I think that I'm seeing like a pattern. Obviously, I guess they're all gonna be metallic, right? But like, they That's all the look like almost the same designer made almost all of them in a way. Like, I thought the costume was done beautifully, executed well, it looks well made, um, and not mad at it. Next up is Jax. Don't like this outfit. No. Not a fan. And the, the thing that's most disturbing is that she's wearing camouflage, and I can see it. Um, it's not it's not my favorite look. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Bianca Del Rio. I mean, I like her um, gorgeous, super curly black wig. Next up is Robin Fierce. Huh? Robin Fierce, she's a gorgeous bitch. It's a great look. Yeah, it's a bold thing to do that one pant. Like yeah. One wide pant like that is yeah. like, I don't know if I like it. Yeah, the one-legged thing can be kind of weird and it is kind of, but she looks pretty. Next up is Mistress Isabel Brooks. Honey, I'm living. 
I love the shoulders. I wish that the dress was a little longer, maybe a mermaid tail to kind of mirror the large shoulders. I don't know, I kind of like her little tiny like Barbie feet. Like it's like these like the little glamorous little feet at the bottom. I think yeah. it's kind of cute. I just think it's a lot of look up here. I just I just wanted it to give me a little more. I don't know, I think I, I think I, it's so much at the top that it's kind of nice that it's just like focused at the top maybe. Next up is sugar, not to be confused with spice. Right. Here is sugar. I think she looks great. I think they both look good. I can tell right away without really being familiar with them. Yeah. They have good drag. Yeah. They have expensive drag. Yep. And they have a great point of view. They have a nice perspective. They have a good personal style. Do you think this is gonna work in their favor with both of them looking very similar? I do. I, I think it's a good look. I think it's a, a great, it reminds me of a brilliant, leveled Britney Spears-esque approach. And lastly is Miss Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. It, it, it's not my favorite look on her, because I've seen her look better. Right. And that's the only disclaimer I have, because I've seen her look better. So I'm not trashing it, but there's things about it that are not my favorite. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I don't love it either. I think that there's problems with where, like, are they chains? Yeah. Yeah, I think the chains are draped in a way that's not really flattering for the dress. Put, like, the chains on the bottom of the dress and, like, drag the chains, you know? Like, it's like the, the, the bottom of the dress is just kind of like an afterthought almost. Completely. The titties look so voluptuous. Yeah, th there's there's something good about it, but I think it's also there's missing something. There's two things something. really good about it. <laughs> yeah. And they're right on her chest. Titties. Titties. So, Miss Envy, now I have to ask you, you've seen all 15 girls. Who had your favorite look? I mean, probably Sasha. Yeah. I must agree, Miss Colby gets my vote this episode as well. Which one did you think needed the most work? Jax with the with the dog tags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think so. I'm gonna have to say Jax. It was a bold choice, maybe not the right choice to go with like weird, like neutral, dark, not shiny, nothing yeah, about it, it was very exciting. It didn't elevate it. My true least, the least, least, least favorite uh -huh. was Princess Poppy. Princess blue Poppy. on blue. Yeah, the blue on blue and nothing on nothing. It, mm. it, it was just lacking in some level. Yeah. Yeah. After the judges critique, we found out that our winner of this challenge, <laughs> Sasha, Colby. Oh, work. We love it. Do we you think love it. Was to fair? See it. I think it was absolutely fair. Yeah, the whole <laughs> moment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was just so funny. <laughs> the whole <laughs> really worked out well. So funny. Yeah, I liked it. Have you ever tried that? No, that? Like no. to get like where you want to go. What the f did you just say? No, I haven't. Have you tried it? No, we could try it together. Let's do it. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> We're still here. Yeah, weird. And sadly, in the bottom, Princess Poppy and Amethyst once again. Do you feel that the right two are in the bottom? I do. Yeah. From what we've seen, yeah, I, I agree. The queens were asked to lip sync to Ain't No Mountain High Enough, performed by Diana Ross. What'd you think? I think they did their best. Um, I think ooh, that the gold ooh, was... No, 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 we're not moving on, bitch. <laughs> they did their best. You hated it! Did their best. I don't know, I mean, listen, I I think they did their best. I mean, I really, and, and not even in a shady way, I think they, yeah. they really looked like they were a little bit in over their heads. They both looked terrified. Yeah. I don't know. I think that the gold movement was, yes, very, amethyst. was, was something that Diana Ross would wear. And what was interesting is when I would see Princess Poppy trying to eclipse Amethyst. Constantly she kept walking in front of the- In front! What, what would you do in that situation? The girl keeps walking in front of you like that. Oh, honey, I would just be good and wouldn't have to lip sync. <laughs> You know, you came on as a lip sync assassin on my season. I did! And that was the episode I went home, by the <laughs> way. So I don't know if you're a good luck charm or... Um, I'm gonna say you're a good luck charm, actually. Well, considering we're almost done, you're about to go home again. <laughs> so I'm not a good luck charm, I'm just consistent. <laughs> We thought Amethyst gave the best run of it. I mean, she was really in the moment. I thought the way that she was finding her way to the front without being forceful was great. I didn't understand Princess Poppy running up amongst the other girls. I didn't understand the opening I'm of the so legs. I'm so glad you brought that up. I was like, Ooh, you're what, doing what that? What are you doing with the other girls back there? What, to a Diana Ross song? I mean, it just didn't make sense. Didn't seem fitting. Amethyst with the cape, really, that was, that came in so clutch, because it was, a Diana Ross cape. She did well, and she's safe. So sadly, we had to say goodbye to Princess Poppy. Do you think that was the right answer? 
I think it was. Yes. Yeah. I think it was. San Francisco is still going to be very proud of her. Sure. I must confess, this was another jam-packed episode. But before we let you leave, I'm curious to ask you right now, if you were forced to decide, who would be your front runner? I think Sasha. It's Sasha, an obvious okay. choice. Well, I want to see Sasha in the bottom only because she can lip sync the f out of a song. She really And can. she can tear some She's bitch up. That's so what I want to see. I want to see her mop the floor with oh, these hoes and turn the party. Well, I must say thank you, Scarlet Envy, for joining me here on The Pit Stop. This was your first time here, and I hope it's not your last. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. Good. Oh my God, yeah, I'm ready to start paying rent here, girl. This is fierce. She's coming back. Yeah, anytime. Just like a bad rash. <laughs> And thank you for watching The Pit Stop. Make sure you tune in next week as we recap another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. Don't you find it funny that anytime someone's not attractive, they're called a comedy queen? <laughs> Have you noticed that? It's true. Every ugly bitch is a comedy queen. And I can say that because I am one. All right? It is. Okay. My biggest offense is not being called ugly and being the comedy queen. My offense is when they call people comedy queens that aren't funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nina West. Oh. <laughs> All right. You can keep that This in. is fun. She can keep that in. Oh, hey, everybody. It's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy-nominated gay <laughs> Well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.